In this video, we are going to create free body diagram. Firstly, we are going to create free body diagram with mesh based sections. The result file that we have imported must have stored nodal forces output. Here, we have already created a mesh based section. Click on Plot Free Body tool on the Free Body section of the Post ribbon. We are going to select the Free Body section we want to display and click Plot. On the Free Body Sections browser, we can select the Free Body section and change its system to either Global, User, or Analysis System. On the results browser, we can select the free body plot and change the system. Now we are going to plot free body diagram on finite on inf or infinite sections. On the free body plot dialog, we are going to select the sections and plot. You can change the plane length of the sections on the free body sections browser. The plot is updated. Free body plot is also updated when we change the active subcase. Again, we can change the section's plane location or angle to update our plot. On the free body plot entity editor, we can change the system and we can also change the data type to be plotted. In case we have imported some sections, we can plot a free body diagram based on these sections. Now let's create a free body diagram based on free body groups. On the micro dialog, select free body groups and choose the desired groups to plot. You can modify the groups by changing the number of the cuts. See that free body plot will be updated. By changing the subcases, the plot is dynamically updated. Here, we are going to create a free body group by selecting a source, as source, a list of nodes. We can define the length and the free body group is created.
Let's create a free body diagram based on this group of sections. In the options, we can change the arrow length. Select the Free Body Manager tool on the Free Body section of the Post ribbon. On the dialog, you can select the desired Free Body sections and the load cases and export a summary table with forces and moments.